Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues playing as the Maxon Chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. Lanius attacked me. Um, we are holding our own right now. I don't really have the numbers to go for a big push. But I'm hoping at some point we can do something about that. We're very lucky in that I did get some extra reinforcements. The Daughters of something, whether Hakate, has, whatever you say this. I don't know where they came from, but I suspect there was probably some sort of an event that I missed. Where the, um, what is it, Daughters of Diana or whatever? Uh, or the twins, something, whatever. These guys, I think, lost and retreated. They probably were considered refugees and, like, I would get a bonus when Lanius attacked or something like that. That is my best guess. Otherwise, I have no idea what the heck happened there. Uh, we could go for some weekly manpower mobilization speed. Tempting, but what would be even better is to go for knights. Now that we do have um, a war going on, I can go for some conscription law changes. And I'm just going to say I think that's probably a good plan. Let's try to take out some of their supply hubs here if we can. And that might make things a little bit easier for me. I'm going to try to counterattack here so that these guys can't make a push. That's looking good. All right, good, 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 good. Hold your ground, hold your ground. Uh, can we counterattack in some of these spots? The answer is yes. I do need to swing around wide this way. I just don't have a lot of numbers. <sighs> um, okay, let's see. So you have some chariots. You've got a lot of infantry. Infantry is not going to stand up against my power armor. It's only his motorized that actually scares me, I think. Because he's going to have a lot of it. Lots of stupid freaking chariots and stuff. And, eh, yeah. He's got a huge advantage over me is what it comes down to. A pretty massive advantage. Let's try to counterattack these guys and crush them. Just kind of focus down a little bit more here. That's looking good. One of his chariots is having to retreat. Let's counterattack here so he can't do anything. Good, good, good. All right. The fact that I bought power armor instead of regular infantry, I think has been a huge advantage for me. Very glad that I did that. Can we push a little bit? You know, I want to get to like nine fingers, for example. If I can get there... That would be pretty big. We can try to take away an important uh, supply hub for him. Now, the thing is, I don't know how much supply matters in this case. Like, supply hubs usually are very important, right? Obviously. But, this is a desert, and it's Lanius's cohorts and it's tribals, and they're pretty accustomed to living in terrible conditions. I'm pretty sure that even if I take away the supply hubs, they'll still technically have a little bit to work with. I don't know. Um, maybe we want to consider building an airfield, like, right up front. And actually, you know what? Cancel these. Because we're actually pushing forward here. So, maybe I can build one, like, around Black Sun, and this would get me... You know what would be even better? Build one in Nine Fingers, so we can have a uh, airbase that actually reaches this entire front line. That would be a better deal, definitely. Let's uh, continue building some extra military factories for now. I don't really care. So... Yeah, we should be able to get Nine Fingers, even with the River Crossing penalty. We'll get this. Can you pin this guy down and don't let him go anywhere for a second? Please and thank you. Factory Blueprints, good. So we're making more progress toward coring Dog City. Couple more to go. Once I get that, that's going to end up being a lot more manpower that I can use to either get support uh, companies, or just start training up more troops. Alright, these guys are going to have to retreat. Got it. Good. All right. Everyone, reorganize. Hit them there, and let's go for that airbase I was talking about right here. Okay, apparently I can't. Hang on. It's clicking on troops instead. There we go. Top priority, finish an airbase. Let me get more localized control with my air force. Okay. Good, good, good. Looking over here. We have a friend attacking, but otherwise not a big deal. You need to sit tight and just hold this ground. What's going on? Take it back. Please hit. We need flanking. Flanking is extremely powerful in this, to be honest. Hey, look! More power armor. Yes. All right. Get them up to the front. Now, I might want to reorganize this at some point if I have some spares. There we go. Push back. Good, good, good. All right. So, we got that next. Then we want to go for the skinwalkers. If I can take this, that's another hub that's going to go away. And then we just entrench and hold for a minute while I reorganize and figure this out. That's the airfield done. I'm going to go ahead and build a couple of outposts over here just to keep the ground that I've currently got. I know it's not a very good use of my industrial capacity, but every step forward I take, I kind of want to continue holding. Although, 
That's a supply hub that's unguarded right there. Hold on, grab it. We'll just go ahead and kick these guys out. Let's get in here. That's kind of huge. Power armor, help me out. Okay. We could go for some modifications to our officer core. Um, army experience gain and defense on core territory. The experience is nice. The defense on core territory is useless to me. Spec Ops attack and speed. Yeah, all this is nice, but I need to save up for manpower. We could go for some reductions in supply usage and stuff. None of these do me a lot of good. What I care about is getting the things like organization, better stats, recovery rate. Yeah, soft attack and stuff. This is what I want. We'll get a little bit of an upgrade for our power armor and just make them better. I am never going to be unhappy having more stronger power armor, okay? It's just too good to say no. Alright, solid. Uh, looks like my ally pushed forward. Didn't really expect that to happen, but alright. Counterattack here as well. Help him. Advantageous attacks I will take. Happily. Because they preserve my manpower the best. Okay, we managed to grab that supply hub. So what's left? We've got this one, we got this one, we got this one. We've got all of them. Okay, so the nearest supply hub over now is Logan's Fall. He's got nothing over here. I'm hoping this results in attrition, though it could very well be that he's fine. We've seen that sort of thing happen before. I was talking about them being a bunch of tribals who may not suffer. Well, there you go. Let's try to push these guys out, control the railroad, so I can make sure that I get supplies here instead. It's a slight advantage. Might as well. Waiting for 150 political power. That's what I'm going for here. Can you guys please push this guy out? The answer is yes, 100% they can. Come on, help me out. Get this guy out. There we go. And then you guys are going to come over here and push this guy out here. Goodbye. You guys are going to sit tight on the skinwalkers. And all is looking good there. Okay. Let's push these guys out. Flanking bonuses, please and thank you. We're going to control this dang railroad, I swear. It's going to happen. Uh, you're fine where you are. Let's counter, uh, let's hit him here. Hit him with the power armor, please. Okay. How strong are these chariots? He's got really good defense and soft attack value. Look at that. Yeah, his chariots, his equites, are really good. Oh, I'm not looking forward to dealing with any of that, but okay. All right, all right, all right. So, um, this is going to be a very micro-intensive war, I'll just tell you right now. It is. But we're really close to getting for- uh, oh wait, no, I need to go for- ah, dang it, I forgot about Ruined Streets. Okay, we have a total of three focuses to go, so in 90 days, we will have that core. I'm actually looking okay on manpower, shockingly, but I am. Uh, you are almost at the 80% I need to get recruitable population. That'd be so nice. Can I boost you up? It doesn't cost me too much. And if I can spare the manpower and equipment to do this, we can get up to that 80% faster. And just getting a fair bit of recruitable population in Scorpion's Bite would be big for me right now. Need the manpower. I will take every bit that I can get my hands on. Every little bit. Okay, we're holding on to that. No problem. All looking good. So we want to get down toward Logan's Fall. Um, but I also want to keep pushing these guys back. The thing is, if I push them too far back, they go back in their supply range, right? So, that doesn't do me all the good in the world. Can you guys still, like, stop attacking me here, please? There we go. Get these guys out. You guys sit tight. You move forward. We're no longer holding a defensive position at the river, which is a little concerning, but it's okay. Why can't I build... It's clicking on units. No, stop clicking on units. I don't want that. No, stop. What is this hitbox thing? Outpost. Build. There we go. Alright. We're gonna get some more outposts over here. Just try to hold this ground. Okay. Uh, we're up to 128 political power. Just a tiny little bit more to go. Didn't I have a little bit more than that a second ago? Did my brain fail me? I thought I had like 140. Apparently I did not. That's okay. Just push these guys out. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Don't move. Stay where you are. We're good. Okay. And now we're out of manpower again. Look at that. I can't click on the outpost here. It just keeps clicking on the unit. That is so stupid. Stop doing that. Lordy, that is dumb. 
Okay, I no longer have the advantage against uh, Lanius. The Legion War thing is already done. We did finish up with Recon Infiltration, which is great. Hardness, Soft Attack, Heart Attack, all that's nice. Lose so much recoupable population. So it's going to happen no matter what, huh? That is so painful. 10% loss in recruitable population factor. I can't even afford to do that right now, weirdly enough. I mean, I normally would say you always want to continue working on your doctrines, but in this case, no. No, you really don't. Alright, they're trying to push me back out over here. Hold on, let's send some extra infantry. We'll see if we can help win some of these fights, get them back. Don't lose this. Would really rather not. I'm sending some extra power armor down this direction with the goal of now punching down south and encircling whatever's around here. And I feel like we should be able to. All I gotta do is basically work my way down toward Bell's Ranch and hold this spot. That said, that's still gonna be a little bit tough. What if I go around this way toward Logan's Fall so I can consolidate and collapse my units instead? That's a safer choice, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Definitely a safer choice. Alright, you guys sit tight. Don't go anywhere. Just rearrange as needed. Got this. Good. Come on, don't... He's, he's flanking me pretty hard here. Counterattack this guy. Don't let him do anything. Radio means more coordination. That's good. We can boost that up even further. We're about to get a little bit of extra recruitable population factor over there. And I need more military factories, unfortunately. Um... Why? Because we actually were running low on caravans for a second, so I feel like some extra production there is kind of necessary. Set up a okay, one of you guys sit tight, or at least two of you sit tight. This could be enough to hold this area. I just need to push in through Logan's Fall and then push up to the north. Small encirclements are helpful. Alright, paved roads, infrastructure, and we are about to get to the 150 I'm looking for. There it is. Let's boost you up. Boost that recruitable population factor by a small amount. It's not a lot, mind you, but at least it's something. More manpower, please. Okay, this encirclement is looking really good so far, so we're going to crush a few small little units and overrun what is left. The chariot, of course, is the one thing that actually has some stats that are causing issues, but it's all right. Get these guys cleared out. That's several more gone. Perfect. That is what I wanted to see. All righty. Uh, some construction speed or production, tax breaks for factories, blah blah blah. We can actually go ahead of time on this by a little bit. I mean, yeah, that's a thing. Um, it only boosts, reduces by 0.3 years. I think for now we'll continue with some more production efficiency, because that's still great. But this will get cleared out. Now we're in a slightly better position, okay. Now, let's reconsolidate my small group of paladins, and we're going to push down to the south through Bell's Ranch. And that'll be another small encirclement right over here we can deal with. Good, 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 good. So far, this is working out swimmingly. We are also really close to getting the 80% that I'm looking for on Scorpion's Bite, and we're going to see if this makes much of a difference. We're not really good at taking manpower from non-cored territory, so it may not actually end up being a lot, but, you know, if it's something, I'll take it. They're pushing me back over here. My infantry are just awful at defense. They really are. We might be able to counterattack these uh, motorized and just kick them out of here, though. The bikes, sure, why not? Um, they're trying to push me back here, that's fine. I wanted to get over here and help. What is this? The free fighters, the luchadores, want to send me some divisions. Heck yes, please. Every bit of reinforcements are super duper great right now. Uh, let's take the... Why are there six divisions here? There shouldn't be. Hold on. What? What happened here? Hold on. No, I just wanted to have some power armor only over here. I don't know what happened. They rearranged in a stupid way. Okay. Anyways, Ahu, yeah, get our power armor. We'll punch through. That'll be one objective. Then it's just gonna be a matter of following down this way of the map. That could be so many units encircled. If I can do that, we win the war. I'm almost positive we win the war at that point. And the extra reinforcements coming in are gonna be pretty helpful. No doubt about it. Um, you are reinforcing. We're probably going to lose this ground. Honestly, I don't think I care. Retreat. Let's just stop taking losses over there. It doesn't do me any good. And we also don't regenerate our manpower. So, like, no. I don't want to take any unnecessary losses. What do you need? Okay, so here comes... Where are my power armor? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, uh, let's just go for it. He's got, like, nothing right now. So let's just go. Push. He's feeling pretty weak, his organization is low, and we can stack up a lot of goodies. Boom, boom, bada, bada, boom. Paved roads. Now I just need a muzzled city. 
Come on, Denver. Come on, Denver. I'm rebuilding you. I'm making you greater than ever before. You will be the jewel of Colorado. Hi, free fighters. Yay. <laughs> I'm so happy to see the Mexicans arrive to help me out. This is huge. Let's uh, take one of them to go this way down toward Bell's Ranch. The other one can go directly south. So we're going to punch in through here. Got it. Grab this supply hub. Come on, get in there. You can do it. I know you can. What's going on? You need to sit tight. Like, don't go anywhere. Hold this river. All right, really important. Got that? Perfect. That is a bunch of other encircled units. Now, they still have some supply, so it's not perfect, but we can at least start pushing them back. So let's go ahead and start doing exactly that. Try to get in here. That's another small encirclement. And once done, that frees up a lot of units so we can just kind of consolidate all my forces and we're not even stretched that far thin anymore. That's really, really, really good. Okay, so these are some beautiful little encirclements. Lots of guys dead. Perfect. All right, we've got a couple power armor that are going to hold this ground. Now, cancel this. Move everyone here except for you two. You sit tight and just hold. Let's reorganize and then figure out how best to approach this. The more I can swing along the mountains, the more troops I might be able to catch in my net. And they're all looking pretty low on organization. They're not looking good. <sighs> okay, how am I doing on terms of manpower? Not good. We're still down at zero. Um, we're getting a little bit of extra monthly growth in states right now, which is great. What I can do is stop spending so much here in places like the Scorpion's Bite. So let's pull you back. That saves me a bit. Uh, if I can get to 60% here, that'd be great. 40% here, that'd be great. We're almost up to 20%. The Cult of Lupa is hurting. Let's swap over to Rioters, because we don't need as many of them to do the same thing. So that helps. Now we've got positive again. Okay, good. Logistically, how are we looking? Uh, for the most part, actually really good. We are fine. Hey! All right, we're actually capturing a lot of stuff, including some of their chariots, chariots for uh, Equites. Would be kind of fun to build those. Wouldn't it? But yeah. Let's get some more power armor going. Um, beyond that, I don't really know. I don't really feel like I want to work on any of these gliders. They're all just one-time use. I'd rather just wait and start building up some proper biplanes later. Could start getting some support equipment, I guess? At some point, we're going to want to get a stockpile of that, I'm pretty sure. Eh, we'll see. So, let's set up a front line along here. And the goal is to send one, two, three, four paladins up this way. And you guys are still fine where you are. Perfect. All right, four paladins should be more than enough to mow through basic infantry just to get down here. Then we collapse, we entrench, and we win. And here goes nothing. All right, power armor, go, 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 go. Keep swinging around. Things are looking good. We should be, we're just walking tanks. That's all we are. We're walking tanks. We should be able to just punch straight through them, right? That's the entire point of this. Look at us go. Look at us go. The question is, you know, are we going to accidentally find ourselves in a position where they just cut us off and we lose all my power armor? That would be a problem. But so far, we can hold back any of their attacks pretty easily. Uh, you keep this guy low for a second. The free fighters just declared a war of their own. I bet you they were... Yeah, they're retreating all their units. Darn it. Hey there. All right, well, that's fine. Um, cool, cool, cool. Keep going where you're going. That, I think, my friends, right there is a cutoff. Pretty sure. Now, they'll have some local supply generation from Sulphur Springs, but that's it. That's the only place that can get them any. Ooh, if I can actually get all the way down here to Sulphur Springs, too. Now, we're spreading ourselves a really thin by doing that, so we got to be careful. Let's push this guy out because this would be an easier front line to hold. A muzzled city! Means we now have Denver under control. It is fully cored. 70,000 population here. So that resistance is about to go down a lot. And I'm hoping we're going to see ourselves getting a lot more manpower now. We're up to 18 recruitable population per month now. Something. Still not great, but it's something. So I think it's going to take us a while to mobilize. Um, about 0.015% of our total manpower is still mobilizing per day. Yeah. So it looks to me like we're only at 3%. We have, we have at least a fair bit more manpower we can work with. Yeah, that's like another thousand at least to go. That's great. Okay, so we've got all that done. Um, it's still not January 2279, so we can't go down this route toward Boulder, so we're going to ignore that. Required garrisons minus 25%? How did I miss that? That seems really good. Let's pick that sucker up. That could be massive for me, actually. Uh, an extra factory to work with. Um, anything else I am lacking? Not really. We should be producing everything at this point. 
except for some planes. I think we focus on even more power armor, because power armor is just that good. Like, why not? But seriously, if we can get down to Sulphur Springs, I'm pretty sure these guys are going to have no supply generation of any kind. So we're already looking at some pretty huge attrition for these guys right now. Hey there. And yeah, we're about to pump in here. There it is. All right, now hold. Uh, hold this ground. Don't lose it. I need to rearrange some units. The five divisions here are probably fine. What do you need? So anyone who doesn't have anywhere to be right now... Go here, and we're going to start our cleanup duty. Okay. Okay. This is big. This is really, really big. Be even better if I can counterattack some of these guys, and we can start pushing through here and just fully encircle them. I mean, they already are, but, like, get them away from the river. More encryption, decryption, doesn't strike me as that good. Probably could start working towards some planes. Might do that. Other upgrades? Oh, wait. Um, let's go for the dogs. Upgraded suppression value just means less worries about, you know, uh, garrisons. More factories, huh? Alright, just focus on fa uh, power armor and nothing else. So, push, and push, and push, and let's start getting rid of these guys. Clear them out. I want these guys to start taking massive losses. I want to collapse my units so that I don't have... Um, uh, so I don't have a stretched out front line, so I can properly entrench. Push these guys out of here. Looking good, looking good. Good, you hold. They're trying to push me out here, but it's not going to go very well. That's a lot of units you're going to lose. So many units he's going to lose here. Really, really big advantage. Really big advantage. Alright. I think with this maneuver, we've just won the war. It's going to take a little while to come to full fruition, and obviously Lanius has... A lot of territory to grab, and the more I take, the more uh, I have to garrison. And honestly, garrisons are so painful nowadays, it's borderline unfun. But, maybe we'll be okay. Oh look, an airbase! That's good. Let's go ahead and get a little closer, shall we? Get in range. Now we'll have air superiority and ground support. We'll clear all this out, then I can move them south. Good, 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 good. Alright, alright. Let's jump forward until I have cleared all of this garbage. Beautiful. All right. That didn't even take very long. That's how effective that was. Let's set up a proper front line here. You'll go down this direction. I need to have, let's say, you guys over here as well. The rest can go up here and just hold. They can't do much of anything now. We just need to hold on to our combat whip. Okay. So our manpower is starting to go back up. We're up to like 800 there. That's going to reduce, hopefully, the garrisons required by a lot. These guys are up to 88%. We're almost able to get these guys to coring candidates. I need a lot more political power for that to work, but there we go. Let's change this to sporadic outposts and save myself a lot. We don't need that much anymore. I'd still like to get these guys up, if possible, to the 80% um, mark. Hangdogs, they're at about 40%. They are now, in fact, so that reduces garrison requirements there. So now it's a matter of getting the Cult of Lupa into position. And we need, we need our spies down here, because they're giving me the most trouble. Hold on. Can we get you guys over, let's say, one over here? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. This will be perfect. Alright, hold on to this area. Uh, planes, right. You guys all go here. To northern Me New Mexico. And perfect. And we got another treat. Uh, we can go for the Cunning Desert Fox. That's really good. A lot of the territory to the south is desert. I would know. I grew up in Arizona. I understand how this works. All right, so we got all that. Um, we can't do the sealed dome yet. It is still not 2279, so I can't go for steel versus iron. We could go down things like a wealth of the past, and that little bit of extra political power is going to help me get up to the next conscription law. We can get to scribes, and that's even more recruitable population. We've actually got some recruitable population now, which is insane. Can we get upgrades for, let's say, my paladins? I'd like to toss on something like demolitions, lots of soft attack. Does cost me manpower, but I think it's worth it. A little bit of extra stats, really can't go wrong. Standardized tools is Dunsky's. Let's go for the construction. Might as well. And do we want to build, let's say, a bunker here? Okay, once again, it's letting me click on units instead of the map. That is stupid. There we go. Hold on to this. And then we could just entrench here. Gosh dang it, stop clicking on the wrong things. What are these hitboxes? It's so dumb. There we go. Nope, not there. There we go. 
Build a couple of outposts. He can't do many flanks in the position I've currently got here, so it's not going to work out well for him. A little bit of extra defensive stats just preserves my manpower, makes it easier to survive. And of course, having air superiority certainly does not hurt as well. All right, we can even start training up some additional units, and I will. Let's train some additional paladins, get me up to the full 26. And we still have 300 manpower to spare, and it's only going to get better as we continue to get these guys under control. I was really worried we were going to lose that, to be honest. I mean, it's Lanius, you know? But somehow, somehow, we've managed to hold our own, and that's great. Um, what do we want to do as far as our saws? We could go for the really good soft attack of light machine guns. I think that's what I want. Let's start doing some research into support company upgrades. And I'll eventually start adding these into divisions as well. Though actually we should probably upgrade flamers first now that I think about it. Eh, we'll come back to that one. It's fine. Elric's task. Making her way down the hallways of the underground sanction, uh, sections of the Union Station. Andrea stops at the door to the scribe's main lab. She sees Elric muttering to himself. Harder work than I've ever seen you, Proctor. Uh, apologies, didn't see you come in. I'm not here to reprimand you. Just checking on your current project. Yeah, let's see. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think we'd accomplish much after our retreat from this place. The sacrifice of the brothers must be honored. Now, let's see what we're working on. A map of all the sites used by the Warden AI. Oh, that could be useful. The sites we found toward a central station. There's a bunch of different sites we can go and explore. Be very careful. Fine. So, with that, we now are able to... Ooh, wait, what's this? Vault 000. Add a couple of bunkers at Colorado Springs, the Ancient Menace. That feels like something I don't want to deal with right now, an Ancient Menace, no thank you. Though it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. There's a lot of really good... Wow, we can get sophisticated tech on a lot of things. Ooh. Well, all of that could be awesome, but we'll worry about that later. Um, all right, so I think I'll hold off on this. We also have the option to go for some sites, more civilian factories, research bonuses, Working toward motorized electronics, off-map uh, stuff, power armor tech, yeah. All good. And then there's more workshops that way. Um, I don't know what's going to be best here, to be honest. I guess we'll go ahead and just work on some extra civilian workshops. We got a couple months before I'm able to start making any progress toward Boulder. And by the way, if I can get enough troops here to just hold on to this ground and then send the rest up here and go conquer Boulder to make progress? I'll do that. I really want to save my brothers and sisters out in the desert and see what happens. The secret burger! Oh my god, Swiss sauce! We got steak sauce and Swiss sauce! All right, well, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.